Hello there, welcome to Game Snare. We are back again, and this is the last video where I have to talk over a previous video that I recorded. For stupid me, forgot to, with Fraps, have it set to also record with microphone. So. And by the way, I hate those things. They, ha they take way too many hits. They're just wasting ammo. And you'd be foolish to go up to them and try to knife them because they'll just one-shot you by biting your head off. So, there you go. Which I don't know if, uh, let's say they fall to the ground, you know, and they still have the, the thing sprouting out of their head. It makes me wonder if you could actually walk up to them and knife them in, but I could be wrong. They'd probably still bite your head off, so I'm not taking that risk. Yeah, this room here is really not that bad. But if you become stupid like I did at one part, then you'll then bad things happen. <laughs> yes, my most hated enemy in the game are the Granadas with the bazookas. I hate them with a passion. They can end your day quite literally. Yeah, those guys just gonna keep running in circles. Which is annoying. And it's hard to figure out where you need to stand sometimes, because see, like right there, they could have hit me if they wanted to. <laughs> that was pretty funny, actually. Knocked him off the thing. <laughs> Luckily, I hit that one with the fire. That's all they do. They just run in circles. Yeah, those fire things are coming in handy, that's for sure. Yeah, this video here, I'm pretty sure, is nowhere near as long as the previous one, so this one shouldn't take me as long to go through. Yeah, as y'all can tell, I don't much like recording my voice, like, narrating over a video I've already recorded, because it's just, it's just not the same kind of feeling. I get a very good happy feeling when I am playing and talking at the same time. But this, I'm just like, okay, okay, I have to think of things to say. I cannot just stand there and be the entire video. I can't have that. So I have to just randomly keep chit-chatting and just saying random crap the entire time. Oh, and by the way, you think it's over, but um, it's not. Because all quietness now. And like I've, like I've always said, if the music goes out, then you know that all the enemies are dead. But that is not necessarily always true. Here I have a dumb moment right here. Because I go in here thinking, okay, so I go in here and then I flip the switch that's here. Well, nope, that's not what you do. You have to flip another switch first. Which, of course, then I forget where it's at and so then I start running around like a ninny. Commencing now. I just guessed when to start doing the Jeopardy theme. Yes, it's owned by the Jeopardy people, so no copyright, please. But anyway, <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, I was just humming that and it ended up, yeah, right there. That was a dumb moment. I was trying to be all cool and everything and be like, I am going to throw this flame grenade inside there where you're at and take you out. But instead, I missed the opening of the window there, and then they shoot me with the bazookas, two bazookas, and surprisingly it didn't kill me. I had like literally probably .00001 health left after that. And the music starts back, so here we go. More enemies on the way. Yep, there you are at the door, you can see them. They're coming for me. Yeah, 
Any day now. I know they're coming. But I think I... Yeah, I decided to come. Well, you see, that answers my question. Apparently, the scythe cannot one-shot you. That corrected me. My bad, I was wrong. But yeah, those guys that throw the scythes, it can just about kill you. As seen right there. You don't want them to throw them and hit you with it. It really hurts. Luckily, the bazooka guys only take one hit to take down, so that's always good. And here, I throw my flame grenade, and thankfully, I don't mess up too bad, except I missed one of them, so then I gotta quickly pull out the shotgun. There we go. Nice. That worked out pretty good, except for the intense damage that I took. And I don't think I have any healing items right now, so right here, I'm pretty sure I was panicking. But I will take that goat head. It's part of the puzzle to open that main door that heads to Salazar. And not Salazar Slytherin. No, not that guy. It's a totally different guy. We have ourselves a typewriter. I will say, for recording purposes, I am glad that games nowadays have an autosave feature, because this game did not implement that. And so, yeah, sometimes when I'm recording this, it I end up having to stop the video recording in the middle of action like I did last time. In here... Hmm. Yeah, I was hoping I'd hit some of them, but I didn't. Which apparently, they actually still are around, they're just flying around in the sky. And I could shoot them down if I wanted to, but I think I only shoot down one. Yeah, there's some crows on that fountain there, which I think this is honestly a waste of shotgun ammo out here. I didn't realize how few there was on this fountain. There's two I got, and I missed that one entirely. Yeah, yeah, there was... Yeah, there was a few more lying around. I wish I had a freaking flash grenade. That would have been perfect. I got all the uh, little updated spinels off of it. That's what I call them, the, up the updated. That's basically all they are. I can't remember what they're actually called at this moment. Even though I just saw myself collect them, and I should have looked, but I didn't, because I just didn't, okay? Just, that, that's just all there is to it. Just didn't do it. Apparently this video is longer than I thought because I am now eight minutes in and looks like it it looks like it's gonna be about a twenty yeah, like I thought. Twenty yeah, I guess I'm about right, about a twenty three minute video. You know, I'm just reviewing my treasures, make sure I got them all, which it seems like I have. And then I see this. I figured out at that moment what's beyond that door. And as you can see, I hesitate because I know what's about to happen. And look at my health. Only three bars. Yeah, I am quite worried. But here I'm like, I'm going to shoot this crow. And I did. And it's dead. But yeah, I really, really, really did not want to go in this room. I hate this room. The labyrinth is awful. You want to know why it's awful? I will tell you after, uh, after a little cutscene. Mr. Kennedy, still alive, I see. So, do you like my garden? I see you've managed to work in a little of your twisted taste here, too. Indeed. <laughs> Sagacious as I am, even I get lost here sometimes. Even if it takes your whole life, you'll never get out. Do you know that no one dies without a cause? You will satisfy the stomachs of my cute pets. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to tie up a few loose ends, like chasing down a couple of rats. Two rats? If one's Lewis, who's the other? Huh. They're an intruder besides me? Perhaps. Okay, the reason why I hate this place. 
This is the last encounter that you have with dogs in this game. I am pretty positive this is the last encounter. And rightfully so, it would definitely be one of the hardest parts of the game. Because I always hated, like, any dogs in any Resident Evil game are always a threat. They are always a threat. And in this game, it's no exception. They are definitely a force to be reckoned with. And yeah, obviously I am scared. At this moment of the video, I was shaking pretty much. I really did not want to go through this room because... But thankfully, I felt better once I got that health. But here we go. First dog. Thankfully, they don't have too much health. But the problem with this room is, is that all you do is hear them growling the entire time so you never know where they're at until they start running, but even then you're not absolutely certain which side they're going to be coming from, behind you, in front of you, left, right, you don't really know. So how this room is laid out, it's really hard to tell which direction they're coming from. Yeah, there, see, right there, I thought they was going to come behind me, but then I realized it's those in that cage there. Oh, how I hate this place. Killed one of them, but now I got two coming right for me. Whew, okay. So far, so good. Basically, though, you want to, what I recommend is don't even bother with trying to make sure you collect everything. I mean, collect everything you can as you're running, but be more focused on the fact that there are dogs ready to bite your head off here. Like, that is, you, you'll notice I'm being very cautious every time I pick up something, because sometimes that's when dogs come after you, is when you pick up an item. You don't want to go too fast. Because there's that one right there. And you see, the shotgun is not the best choice against these things. And the bad news is I'm out of rifle ammo. If I had plenty of rifle ammo, this room would be a picnic compared to what it is right now. The shotgun is not the best weapon for them. I mean, it is if you can get a direct hit on them and it'll knock them down, and then it's easy then. But as you saw there, I didn't hit it just right, and so it didn't knock it down, so then it came and jumped at me, because the shotgun shoots so slow that you are not fast enough to pull off another shot before they jump on you. That's why this room is so dangerous. I mean, I probably would have been better off just using the pistol against these things, but even then, if you're not a... I was not... I was too worried that I would miss them so I stuck with the shotgun because I knew a shotgun I would at least get a hit off on them every time I shot but more or less but I probably should have just went with the pistol there's our first little item there and they are always in a fountain like the other ones in a fountain in another part of this labyrinth This is just fun, this right here. Yeah, at this moment I'm trying to see if maybe I can see a dog in the labyrinth and I wouldn't even have to bother running up on them. I could just kill them from up here. Which, as you can see, that plan backfired because, nope, you cannot. You do not know where the dogs are still. In all honesty, I don't even know if, like, I know I saw one in that cage over there, but I couldn't shoot it from where I was. But, for all I know... They are completely invisible and don't even show up until you walk to a particular part of the labyrinth and then they just spawn. That's probably what happens. Bad things about to happen pretty soon, actually. It's always a first for everything. Yep. My very first official Leon death. But that is honestly not a bad thing, considering this is on the hardest difficulty, and I'm already this far into the game. So honestly, I am not too upset about it, because I have done really well. But now, as you can see, I have to do this entirely over again. But this time I'm not going to listen to that cutscene, I'm just going to skip it. yippee doo da day. There you go. There you go, I skip it. 
<coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> All right, we do this again. Oh, it's called a velvet blue. Seriously? Okay. Here I try out the pistol. And then I realize that, hey, the pistol's actually pretty dang good. But, in all honesty, it's not the best because if you end up fighting more than one at once with a pistol, you're more than likely going to get hit. So for group sub, I'd recommend the, sh the shotgun, but if it was just one, the pistol should be fine. And here I feel like a complete idiot because somehow, even though it showed that I was pointing under the lock, I shoot the lock off instead of shooting one of the dogs. You know, I keep saying dogs, but you know, in all honesty, these could be wolves. Well, you know, I probably should just call them wolves, even though, even though I've been calling them dogs this entire time. But in all, in all honesty, you know, they are part of the canine family, so I can say dogs, whatever. Even though they're probably wolves. Woof, woof, woof. Get that yellow herb again. I know, hopefully I don't regret only giving the yellow herbs to Leon right now, because I always want to have his health full, no matter what. I don't even care about Ashley. But it's going to get to the point that she's going to hit get hit only one time, and it's going to be enough to kill her. That was some bad shooting on my part. God, I hate these things. This labyrinth, man. This is probably my most... I'd say it's my most uh, nervous room. The room where I'm the most cautious. It is not the scariest in the game. The scariest comes much a little good bit later. Which I'm not going to spoil, even though you probably know what I'm talking about, but there is something coming up much later in the game that still bothers me when I have to go through it. Yeah, here I, then I realize, oh, it must be one in a cage because it still hasn't showed itself yet. But as you can see, I'm being very cautious. Door just opened magically. It's like there's a ghost in here. That's not good for when I'm having to watch a video on a scary game to begin with. And yes, this game actually is scary, in my opinion. This was sadly the last scary Resident Evil game to be made. After this, no. Which, in all honesty, I mean, a lot of this game is not scary, but it's the fact that they had the right type of background music playing and the fact of what the enemies were, the monsters, is what made it scary. So this still had some horror elements to it. The next game, no. There ain't a single moment that, I mean, there are some moments where you're nervous and tense, like the part in Resident Evil 5 where you have to get on that boat and uh, and dodge all those those crocodile attacks, which crocodiles ugh, don't like them either. But it's not got any enemies in it that terrify me at all. Well, I take that back. There is the liquor. The liquors are in that game. I do hate the liquors, and I'm just, I'm glad they finally brought back the liquors, even though even though the, the liquors is a Leon, like a like they they were introduced in Resident Evil 2, and that's the one that Leon played in. So in all honesty, they should have been in Resident Evil 4. Could you imagine Resident Evil 4 with the liquors? It's not not that it's not already hard enough and scary as it is, but if they would have added liquors with this, that would have been perfect. But I guess it's understandable why they couldn't, because this is a brand new virus, and liquors are not related to this 
virus whatsoever. Which, to be perfectly honest, well, I guess they could be in Resident Evil 5 because I think there were references to the other viruses in it. I can't, I can't remember. I've only played the game maybe twice, maybe three times. So the other viruses could have been referenced, and so that's how they were able to bring out the liquors in that game. Which, I don't know. I would love for there to be liquors in this one, though, most definitely. Probably, it's probably my favorite enemy, my favorite monster of any Resident Evil game. My most hated, though, my most hated monster in any Resident Evil game is the Hunter. I hate them. Hunters are by far the worst, worst thing ever. There is not a game where they're not dangerous. No weapon does good against them. And yeah, I think at this point, well, except for right here. Yep. So here's an, here's an instance where they can come after you and pick up an item. Which is only... Oh, wait, there's two. And good thing I had plenty of health here, because I'd have been quite upset if I died here. But I don't. I'm good. Do I even have any healing items? Yes, I do. I remember finding a first aid spray. Man, I think I just about collected everything in this place except for the actual last piece of the door. Woo! Forgot about that. Oh my god. Yeah, this could have ended my day right here. Three dogs at once. That's never good. But I triumphant. Oh, I, oh, I had a herb too. That's good. Scene. Watch out. Put your hands where I can see them. Sorry, but following a lady's lead just isn't my style. Put them up now. Try using knives next time. Works better for close encounters. Leon. Long time no see. Ada. So it is true. True? About what? You, working with Wesker. I see you've been doing your homework. Why, Ada? What's it to you? Why are you here? Why'd you show up like this? Huh. How many questions is he gonna ask? He's reminding me of Neo at this point. See you around. Why am I here? You have not answered my question. Alright! Safe point! But there's still a little bit of unfinished business. I must search through this room, collect everything I can, and there's actually a merchant here too, so yeah. I'm about to stock up on some stuff. He's got two first aid sprays that I'm going to buy from him, and so that way I have healing, so that way I'm not completely worried that I'm going to die again. Yeah, so the rest of this is just going to be me searching this room, because there's actually quite a little bit in here. There's the merchant. Yeah, and don't forget to look in here. You get that. Female intruder. Welcome. 
welcome. Thank you. Got some rare. Th what are you selling? Selling a Is bunch of stuff, me? apparently. Yeah. Is that me? Yeah. Thank you. Ah. <laughs> yeah, in case you're wondering, I'm not selling those green eyes for a good reason, because there are times where you get more more things to put those green eyes into, so I, reckon, I wouldn't recommend selling them until much later. And here is when I realize that I have two of those masks. So what the heck? <laughs> yeah, I was kind of puzzled right here. Back at any time. So I could have swore I should have sold one by now, but I don't have them completed yet. What are you selling? Okay, have I tuned up my weapons already? I don't think I have. What are nope. you yeah, here buying? We go. What are you buying? What are you buying? <laughs> I am wanting to buy something if I could decide to go in there. Is that all? <laughs> Is that? <laughs> Thank you. What and are you there's buying? There's that. I think that's me making sure there's nothing. Oh yeah, this is when I is buy the first old? aid sprays. <laughs> <Is it? laughs> okay, should be a save point too. Yep, and yep, that's it. All right, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this. I'm sorry about how how it ended up, but the next time will be better. Thanks for watching.